Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the lecture 5 of week 8 and this is the last lecture of the course as well. This course is NPTEL MOOC course on laser based manufacturing and we are learning various advancements in laser based manufacturing. The laser assisted material forming, the micro forming and we have also seen uh, the laser based rock drilling. Now uh, we will be looking at one interesting application of lasers that is a laser based garment manufacturing. So let us begin our lecture. Well my friends we all use fabrics or garments in our daily usage. Moreover we also use fabrics for variety of other purposes such as protection for household application, industrial applications. Well the fabric is considered uh, as a flexible material which is being formed by interlacing and interlocking of threads and yarns which are produced by spinning of raw fibers. So raw fibers may be of the cotton, the raw fibers may be of silk or it may be of yarn. So a variety of raw fibers or even the agricultural produce such as banana as well. So by using these fibers and by interlacing and interlocking we are producing the fabric. The popular techniques to form the fabric by interlacing and interlocking the threads and yarns are weaving of the fabrics, knitting, felting and bonding technique. The fabric on the further processing can be converted into garments and other useful products. So first of all we have to get the fabric and then we can convert that fabric into the required garment. As far as the fibers are considered they are thread like strands of different lengths which are obtained from different sources and these sources are the natural fibers or the man made fibers. As far as the natural fibers are concerned we can get these natural fibers from plants or from animals. So some of the examples are cotton, flax, hemp, jute, sisal, silk and wool. So these are the examples of natural fiber. As far as man-made fibers are concerned, we are classifying them into fibers that is a regenerated fibers or the synthetic fibers. So some of the examples are rayon, nylon, polyester, spandex and acrylic. So by having the weaving of these fibers we can generate the garments later. Conventionally we are processing the fabrics by cutting that is a mechanical tools uh, which we use and as we know that the scissor is a very simple tool, very common tool that we are being used in the at household application as well as at the industry. In industrial applications we are also using the straight knives. So these are the mechanical knives. Uh, and automated knives basically they are continuously reciprocating and by using such kind of the knife arrangement we can cut multiple fabrics at one time only. So here you can notice the multiple fabrics are stacked over each other and the straight knife this is the straight knife which can be used to cut the material or to cut the garment. Moreover the processing of fabrics in the industry also need to have some sort of engraving operation. So engraving is usually used to process the denim garments in the denim industry and this application is in general for the fading of the garments or to give the worn out look to the denim jeans. Engraving adds more value to the denim garments and methods for the engraving is stone washing. So by using stones we can wash and we can remove the color of the denim garments. We can apply the acid and we can wash it by using the denim itself, enzyme washing, micro sanding and all these are the mechanical or chemical based processes being used to fade the color of the denim jeans or to produce some sort of patterns on the, the denim fabric. 
Moreover, there is another operation that is very useful and very important that is marking. To reduce the fabric wastage, we have to do the optimized cutting, we have to use the resources very meticulously, carefully. So, optimization of the patterns from the raw fabric that we get. So, to reduce the wastage, we have to mark the garments on the fabric very carefully. The marking also enhances the speed of sewing. There are various necessary tools in general we use that is a pencil, markers, rulers, so on and so forth. These are all very basic tools generally required for the marking operation. However, these conventional processing techniques which are used in the fabrics, cutting and garment manufacturing, they do have certain limitations. The first limitation is that there is a contact of tool with the fabric which is we have to ensure in all the time. We have to apply the force and when we apply the force, mechanical force that may damage the delicate or the costly fabrics such as silk. The tools may become dull when we are using it continuously, there is a worn and tear of the tool and due to the dull tool, we may not get the accurate cutting of the fabric and that affects the productivity as well. There has to be a proper attention of the operator always, there is a continuous monitoring of the operation is required to ensure the quality of the fabric cutting. There is a chance of injury, so here all the knives or the tools which are used are pointed, they are sharp. So, if there is no proper care has been taken, then there is chances of having injury to the operator. There are chances of having fraying of fibers. When we cut the complex patterns, the straight knives are also not useful. So, we have to look for some other option for complex shape fabrics cutting. Maximum utilization of the fabric may not be possible in all the cases. So, there may be chances of having wastage as well. The engraving process involves the usage of many chemicals and water which is environmentally hazardous and in certain cases there may be release of some poisonous gases or the fabric may have some poisonous chemicals which is put on which is not good for the, the human health because the fabrics is getting touched with the human skin. A single uh, tool or uh, the single system may not be have all these operations like cutting, engraving and the marking operation. To solve some of these problems, the garment industry started using lasers. As we know that laser is being used for variety of other manufacturing operations such as material removal, welding, additive manufacturing, forming, automation, sensing. In the same advantages or the characteristics which are applicable to other manufacturing processes are also applicable to the fabric processing as well. Here as well we are using the gas lasers, solid state lasers or semiconductor lasers and we have to choose according to the, the requirement for the particular process. The process parameters which are to be considered are the same, the laser power, wavelength, scan speed, laser pulse width frequency and the focal spot size. Moreover, the material property that is a absorptivity to be considered during the laser based garment processing. Well, what are the various applications of lasers in fabric processing? The first application is that this single laser can be used to process variety of fabrics irrespective of the material properties. The leather we can cut the cotton, silk or we can even cut the, the polymer based fabrics as well. At the same station, the laser can be used for engraving application as well. The lasers can be used for surface treatment, surface modification to improve the dyeing process. We can have the marking of the fabrics for further enhancement of its uh, exterior portion, its look. We can have the laser welding of synthetic fabrics such as the polymer based fabrics can be joined together 
and we can do the denim fading as well by using the lasers. So, what are the advantages of using lasers in fabric processing? We can have marking, engraving and cutting combined in one step. This is the biggest advantage. The laser is a contactless machining operation. Due to no contact, the fabrics can be processed accurately. There will not be any damage. As we have seen that the CNC is enabling to control the power and the speed of the laser very easily. We can minimize the waste so that we can have the highest production by using lasers. There can be high chances of having the precision cutting by using lasers. This is a simple process and it is integrated with the computer system that I have already said. The CNC is helping to enhance its productivity and product quality. As there is no application of force during processing, there is a no displacement of materials in delicate fabrics. Of course, there is no fraying of fabrics as well as it is there in the mechanical type of cutting. So, on your screen you can see some of the pictures of the laser fabric processing. So, here you can see this is the laser head and a fabric is being processed by using the laser. So, you notice the very minute features which are easily being cut by using the lasers. Moreover, we can do the engraving or marking of the fabric. So, you notice these are marked features on the fabric material. So, some notes regarding the laser based uh, garment manufacturing. So, in general it has been noticed that CO2 laser in continuous mode may be employed for processing of the fabric for cutting especially. We can even use the pulse laser which is basically required for engraving or the marking operation. In cutting of the fabric using laser, the laser power and the speed, these are two most influential parameters. In engraving and marking, the most influencing parameter is the resolution, is the spot size that we are able to get by using the laser based system and the duration of the pulse. So, spot diameter and pulse time, these are the critical parameters as far as the engraving and marking is concerned. As we have seen that engraving is basically being used to impart artistic designs and certain desirable properties to the fabric. So, in general it has been noticed that the denning products of cotton and some products of synthetic fibers are commonly processed by the lasers. And now people are using artificial neural networks and fuzzy logic, the AI based techniques to predict the color and the fabric properties during the laser irradiation. So, this is an emerging area where we can apply the AI techniques to predict the color and the variety of features during the laser based processing. So, with this I would like to stop for a short note on the laser based garment manufacturing. This is our the fifth lecture of week 8 and the last lecture of this course. I am sure that you have enjoyed all the lectures of all the weeks of this laser based manufacturing process course. I welcome all your comments, feedbacks. You can write to me, all my details are available on the internet at IIT Guwahati website. So, I wish you all the best for your further studies or for your career. Goodbye. Thank you.